Hey, welcome back. I want to talk to you about menu anchors on your page when you're doing a one page scroll site and how you can make it a lot more intuitive when you switch to a mobile screen. What do I mean by that? Well, when you add in menu anchors, you're going to add in buttons at the top for your header, probably, or an icon list. And the idea is, is that is they will have links to your menu anchor using hashtag. And I'll show you that. But when you switch to mobile, you'll end up using a separate pop-up off canvas menu or even dragging in a separate nav menu. You can actually do it once and make it work for you without having to do separate things. Let's have a look at that right now. I've got here a test site. I've got three sections, well, four sections. I've got a header one over here, which will be where we put our menu. Header one uh, or section one, section two, which is header two and then section three, which is header three. Pretty self-explanatory. What we're gonna do is drop in some menu anchors. So you go over here and we're gonna drop in a menu anchor and we're gonna put it above header one and I'm gonna call it header one. I'm just gonna copy that so it saves me typing. I'm gonna go down to header two and again, drop in a menu anchor. And this one I'm going to call header two. And of course, then we're going to repeat it for the final one. It's a pretty good thing I didn't do this for about 20 sections, right? Otherwise, we'd be here for like ages and ages and ages. Right, okay, so we've got three menu anchors in place. It's very important that you remember if you had any capital letters or any funny symbols in there, okay? Because if you put a capital H for header, you've got to make sure you replicate that when you do your anchors or your links to those buttons, right? So normally this is what you might do. You got your anchors in, you're now gonna put um, buttons in or even an icon list. Now I'm gonna very quickly just do an icon list just to save time. I'm gonna drop it in over here. I'm gonna make it a horizontal and we're gonna say that list item one will call a uh, header one. And in the link, we're gonna put hashtag uh, header one, okay? And we'll update that. I didn't need to update, I don't know why I updated. In fact, I'm gonna get rid of the icons as well. There's no need for the icons. Uh, let's just get rid of that, get rid of that. Duplicate, duplicate, go to header one, change that to header two, change the uh, menu anchor again, and just do the same over here. I'm flying through this, okay, because I wanna get onto how we actually solve this problem. So now we've done that, and we're just gonna put this to be on the right, the right hand side, say. Um, in fact, it's probably gone over a bit too much. Let me just make it a bit of a boxed width there. Uh, boxed width of, let's just go with that. Because it's my test site, don't worry about the sizing of the screen. Now, this is all good and well. However, this is the problem you're gonna come up against. Let's just go to preview. So when you click header two, it goes to header two. You go to header three. By the way, this is a sticky header as well. So you go into the section, motion effects, sticky header at the top. Right, header one, header two, header three. Hey, look, it's scrolling pretty okay. Fantastic. But watch what happens now if I switch this to a mobile view. Excuse the fact that the typography over here isn't all set up and stylized perfectly for the mobile, okay? This is just a test example. So we do have our header one and header two. But let's now imagine, right, so if I just go back to the site over here, okay, just for the sake of it, let's just go here and let's now just duplicate header three, multiple times, multiple, multiple, multiple. Let's just keep going like that, okay? Many, many times like that. Let's update that. Look at what we now have. We've just got a wrapping effect going on there. And yes, it's gonna work perfectly fine if you've got 20 sections, but that looks ridiculously awful. And if you've got buttons or icon lists, and with buttons, you'll do custom positioning so they're all in line, it looks awful. So how can we get around this? But it will work not only for the mobile, but also for the desktop as well. So we don't need to do the icon list. It's really simple. All we're gonna do is go to appearance and create a menu. So we go to appearance and we go to menus and we're gonna create a new menu. And I'm just gonna call this uh, example, example, example menu. Really rubbish name, right? So create menu. And now we're gonna drag in our sections but we don't have any sections to drag in. I mean, we have pages, we've got posts and product and categories. What we're gonna do is create a custom link. And this is where it's really clever. What I'm gonna do is pick up the URL for the page, which is there. And I'm gonna go to custom links. 
and I'm going to now paste the link and then I'm going to put in hashtag header one. I'm going to copy all of that so it saves me doing it again. And I'm going to call this header one. Add to menu. Let's add in another one. This one's going to be header two and I'll call it header two. Remember, you can put whatever name you want. Add to menu. So we now have six headers I've added in. But because I've added it in as a menu, you pretty, I'm pretty sure you know what I'm going to do next. Let's go back to our page. We go over here and we now pick nav menu and I'm going to pick example menu. There we go. And we've got header one to six. Let's get rid of this menu that we had up there before. Now I'm not going to worry about the styling here. Okay. So please excuse me for this. But if we were to now view this page on our normal preview page, okay, and please ignore this. The reason these are highlighted is because they're header one. Okay. It's got a pointer on ignore that. The header three, header two, header five, you know, they're all going to work. Okay. But when we go to the mobile now, we now have the navigation toggle bar. So if we had stylized this properly and we'd gone over to responsive mode, put it into mobile, you know, you go through the drill, okay, in what you're doing here in terms of how it's going to look. You know, you would have stylized it and whatnot. Of course, you'd probably have a logo on this page as well. But now we have our menu in there. So this is now going to work perfectly fine. And it will still do what it was meant to be doing in terms of like moving up and down the sections, etc. Let's do that there. Okay, so that now means that not only will it work and look fine on your desktop and your tablet, but it will work perfectly fine on your mobile as well. And it's so much easier and better to do that with custom links with the page. Make sure you're on the right page. Okay, uh, and you got hashtag anchor. It's pretty quick and easy to do. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and I'll see you soon.